Welcome back everyone. Today I'm playing Peter's House. I think this is a game about me helping somebody move out. I'm not entirely sure, but it looked pretty interesting, so I'm gonna play. Steve? Which one is Steve? Phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. Okay, it's here. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah. I have a few boxes that I need to move from my apartment to my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure. My address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Well, time to move some boxes. I'm ready for this. Okay. Left mouse button interact, right mouse button release. Well, here I am. Such a lovely place. With almost nothing in it. Just how I like it. It's gonna be an easy job, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. How many doors? Okay, bathroom. Where's even the plumbing in this place? I don't know. That's weird. What is this? Is this another? Oh, the kitchen. Okay. Should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Well, with the picture that I saw of that guy and the voice that he had that I definitely didn't give him. One more boxes maybe in the wrong room. Need to move those boxes? But where? This one says it must go to the baby's bedroom. How do I know where that is? It must be here. This looks, yes, here we go. So where would I put it? On here? Gotta keep moving boxes. Right, that is a jam and a half, but I'm gonna turn that off because it's very distracting. I'm trying to do my job here. And I can't have random TV music. Kitchen. Okay. I can't have random TV music making a bunch of noise while I'm trying to work here, man. It's not right. Plop. Keep moving boxes. You got it. This already I'm a big fan of. Where is this for? Doesn't say where to, pl say where to place. Maybe I should open it. I'll leave it here for now. This goes in the bedroom and I'm going to assume that that's over here. Perfect. Yeah, this, this is kind of uh, along the lines of what I really like in horror games. That's kind of the trend now for a lot of horror games where it's basically just, okay, bathroom. It's basically just menial task simulator. And I'm into that. I really actually like this type of stuff for whatever reason, because IRL, I don't like doing this stuff. Kitchen. I almost forgot where the kitchen was. <laughs> I thought it was this. And then I remember that there was another room. Don't ask me about the inner machinations of my mind. Living room, right here. Easy enough. You know what, this job doesn't say where to place. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. With this job, we don't ask questions, ever. This one must go to the bathroom. I should reiterate, sometimes we ask questions and I'm sure I will be able to give you an example of when questions will be asked in just a few moments here. What is this for? Bedroom, okay. I mean, some of these you probably could have moved yourself, Steve. Was that your name? Peter. That's what it was. Goes in the kitchen. I had to look over at my audio. <laughs> my, I record audio with Adobe Audition and I always put the name of the game. So I had to double check what the name of the person I'm working for is. I'm almost done here though. I'm just gonna plop you right over here, right next to your little buddy. And we got three more boxes and then two that I think I have to open. Living room. So, when does the horror begin? If the TV was the only scary thing, then kind of failed. That was pretty hype. Okay, this is another one where I don't know where to place it, so I'm putting it there. And this is the baby's bedroom, which was over here. Not bad, not bad. Pretty straightforward. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink before I leave. Wait, are there multiple endings to this? 
Can I just finish the job and then go? Oh boy, here comes the fridge. Didn't even have to open it. Anyone won't mind if I took some of this juice. Uh. Why did all the doors close? It's locked now. Oh. There's an extra box. That door is locked. That door is locked. How do I open it, F? The Vanishing Act Part 1 It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim. That I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a fairly risky move, but I was confident that it would work. Damn, this happened recently, okay. Part two? I began by staging a break-in at her home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Okay. Is this your face? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and close the box <gasps> why what about this i didn't get to open these i'm gonna have to run it back because i want to know what's in those three other boxes <laughs> i'm scared what's going on here a light scared me you'd think it'd be the opposite but i guess not more light thank you anything else Oh, this is this is good. This is kind of setting me up for something. I can feel it. Is it? Phone's ringing. Can I go see what that's all about? Ah! Hallway shortened. That makes sense. It's now dark. Well, I sir, I hope my phone's battery. Ah! 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 What the fuck was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, oh what? How? Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's what you want to see on a job. Yep. Can I pick these up? No. What happened to the dining room table? There we go. Skin and Marink looking at? Where's that coming from? It's not in here. Interact. Okay, I'm assuming it's in here. There's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. Where the hell is that call coming from, dude? I'm incredibly, incredibly suspicious. Can I turn this off? We're not doing that anymore, man. I don't like it. And they're all... Okay, you know what? I just turned you off. Why don't you relax, buddy? You gonna do it again? We're good. And there's all the upside down crosses that I know and love and a new door. Okay. Jump scare coming. This feels like a jump scare. Oh boy. Ah, uh, do I turn around? I turn around to see nothing. I'm gonna keep going. It leads to another door. This house is very strange. Okay. Gonna answer? Hello? What do you want from me? Your job was to just move the damn boxes, not open it. Oh. Oh. I can't do anything. I've been shot. I'm hopping back in just to see what else can be done here. I, I don't even think I'm going to... Whoa. Oh. 
There he is. That's weird. I didn't even notice that before. That's really creepy. Okay, let me see. Kitchen. I don't necessarily have to beat the game again. I'm gonna just go until I find these boxes. Cool. Cool, thank you. Open it. And a knife! Wonderful! The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chances. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. I don't know about the voice that I gave this guy, but there's the knife. Okay. <laughs> is that blood on the knife? It sure is. What about this one? Baby's bedroom. All right. Uh, again, I don't have to be doing everything I'm doing. I just wanted to get the little bit of... The little bit of extra exposition from these boxes. Would you shut up? Okay, here's another one. Glasses. There's a journal inside his glasses. The Snoop. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed the heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Dude, this is dark, bro. This is incredibly dark. Putting that down. And this is the last one. Rings. Okay. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly. And it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my head like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Dude, this is seriously insanely dark. Insanely dark. The only thing I'm gonna wonder now is if maybe there's a different ending now that I got all the exposition. Cause that could be the case, potentially. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink. Okay, no, we're gonna ignore that. And I'm gonna try to maybe leave. Hopefully it just lets me. Come on! Well, I guess not. I guess, uh, I guess that's where this all comes to a head. We learned of the twisted tale of an actual killer. So that's great. And here's the box. Ah, it smells horrible. All right, well, since I've already done all of this, I think I'm just going to try to go through the motions here and then potentially see if there's another ending now that I got all the exposition. And here we are again, back at the phone room. What happens if I try to just walk out? Is it going to block me? No. Okay. It's locked, of course. All right, well... I think this is the end. Move the damn boxes, don't open them. Okay, there you are. Nice to see ya, Peter. And I've been shot again. I gotta say, I actually genuinely enjoyed that. It was incredibly simplistic and there really wasn't a lot to like see visually, but the story itself was so incredibly dark. And there's something about these like PlayStation-esque games that just, they always creep me out in a very great way. This one was no different. It just had that, 
I don't know, like an old school kind of nostalgic fear to it. I would have maybe liked to see a little bit more action, maybe some variety and scares and like different things that happen as you're moving the boxes. But for what it is, this was still an incredibly enjoyable experience. And if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, be sure to check the link down below in the description. And as always, I appreciate you all for being here and for showing me the support you show me on this channel every single day. You guys mean the world to me. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.